Okay, so I'm grateful for the opportunity that I have to be here with y'all today. I'm excited to talk about the things that I've learned in my experience design class, um, my 404 class. Um, it's a class that impacted me then and, and now and will in the future for sure. And I wanted to start out with me as a little girl. So I want everyone to think back to when they were young. Think back to the games that they played and think back to the things that they made up. And it's kind of a time when we, when we say, well, back in the day, I was creative. And these are a couple more pictures of me being creative. So me on the trampoline, me making a camel sculpture and also making cupcakes into the shape of polar bears and things. Um, and this is when I thought of myself as creative. Um, but this is me now. And before this class, honestly, I didn't quite think of myself as creative. Um, maybe my young self as creative, but not now, but not then. But after this class, I know I'm creative. I know that it's in me, and I know that it's in all of us. Um, as humans, we have the innate characteristic of being creative. Old, young, he, she, you, me, we all are creative. It's just something that we need to believe in uh, and start practicing. And um, I just want to talk a little bit about the experiences that we can create with this creativity. Um, and defined by Durden, Ward, and Freeman, an experience is whenever an individual interacts with an environment. And so the great example of this is Disney. Um, we learned a lot about Disney in my classes in experience design. Um, and they were one of the first ones to master um, creating an experience for a customer. And Disney was able to do this through design thinking. And design thinking is probably one of the most important things I learned in my 404 class. It's something that I applied in my class and that I've applied in my life since. So I wanna share some specifics about design thinking. Um, and basically it's broken down into five different steps. We have the empathize, define, ideate, prototype, and testing steps of, divine, of define um, design thinking. Um, and so I wanna begin with empathize. And to explain empathize, I want to kind of describe the difference between that and sympathy. So sympathizing. Um, sympathy is feeling compassion and sorrow for the hardships of another, while empathy is putting yourself in their shoes. So you can do this through um, surveys or talking to people. We really want to focus on delivering something that the customers or participants will want. And then once you have this empathy data, then you'll move into your define stage. And this consists of two different things. You're analyzing your data and then you're synthesizing through all of it. Um, and this we like to do mainly through sticky notes. Um, and so this is, this is probably my favorite way of, of going through the defining stages. Once we have all of the sticky notes from the empathizing stage, then we can kind of categorize them and see what the main problem that we want to achieve is. And once we kind of have that idea, then we can create a point of view statement, um, a POV statement. And this is when you just need the user, the need, and the insight based on what you've gathered so far. And with that POV statement, then you can start to ideate. Um, so this we like to do through sticky notes. So it's another picture of sticky notes, but a ton of sticky notes. You're thinking of anything and everything you can do in order to solve this problem. It's all of your ideas. And then you can categorize these ideas from your ideating session into four different sections. The rational, which is the ones that make sense and are easiest to accomplish. The delight, things that they like, darling, we like, and the moonshot, which is kind of hard to achieve. Um, and so then once you have the idea that you want, you kind of vote on all that and then you prototype that idea. And we like to do that with Legos. Um, yeah, so kind of a hands-on thing that you can give to a customer. And then once you do the prototype, then you can test your experience. And up to now, things have just been ideas. Um, and so now we actually get to test them, see what works, see what doesn't work. And in my class, we did the USA Games. And... This is a picture from it. This was the ending, like the closing ceremony. And after that, we got to see, we kind of got a feel during it, what worked, what we liked to do, what we didn't like to do, and then we got their feedback. Um, and this is why I kind of love the process so much. Um, it's just, it's a way for us to improve ourselves and improve the experience that we're creating. And you can repeat this process over and over again.